Before this video starts, I want to remind you guys that I do have Instagram at HowToCameron. Follow me right now. I upload some of the most attractive images of me. You don't want to miss out. Fantastic. Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Brown. I'm one welcome to the How to Cameron channel. And I'm in a good mood. And I thought to myself, why not change that? Ha <laughs> ha. I'm joking. But uh, I was in a good mood and I was thinking about university and me hopefully going to university after I finished my A-levels. Um, I sorted out my UCAS a couple of weeks ago, which is a medium that you use to apply to universities. And I'm just excited about thinking about the prospects of going to university. If you guys didn't know, I want to do a degree in chemistry. So obviously it's quite different to Ruby Granger. Uh, but I thought to myself, why not actually watch some university videos? Uh, so I searched up university and guess what video I saw? A video by my good friend Ruby Granger titled Live Reaction to My First Essay Mark at University in brackets I Cried. And this video made me feel a little bit... Uh, a little bit not so confident about university. I didn't watch it all in its entirety and that's what I'm going to be doing in today's reaction video. And I say that this is a reaction video, it, it really isn't. It's more of a commentary video because I talk so goddamn much. That's simply why. I don't shut up, okay? It's not like you're watching my facial reactions, it's more that I'm talking about the topic which the original video is on. Uh, but anyway, I thought to myself, why not watch this video and see how, you know, Ruby Granger has gone about crying in this video. I don't want to, you know, criticize anyone for this, but I feel like if a YouTuber cries in their videos, they have two main aims. Number one is for attention, views, clicks, and also for empathy. A lot of YouTubers, that's one of the main reasons why they cry in their videos. And then the other reason is because they're genuinely really sad. However, you've got to realize that if someone is genuinely really sad in a video, it's so easy to cut the crying out and upload a video that contains no crying. So most people who are genuinely sad choose themselves to keep uh, the video parts of them crying in the video to gain more attention. Now, this is the thing with Ruby Granger. Ruby Granger is not a bad person. I don't think she is. I've made some reaction videos to her and she's a little bit quirky, you know, and that's completely fine. That's something that should be celebrated. I'm a weirdo, to be fair. I'm very quirky, so I'm not against that. But I wanted to react to this video with you guys because I know that a lot of people uh, want to see what my opinion is to this video. I got recommended to react to it a couple of times. And you know what? Personally, I hate videos in which people cry in them because I feel like they're completely over the top. I feel like with me, crying for me is a very, very last case scenario. You know, I would only cry if something really, really bad happened to me. And if something really, really bad happened to me that caused me to cry, I probably won't want to share that. Which is probably not a great thing. But anyway, let's watch this video. My first thought was that I had wasted my time, but there is no such thing as wasted time. Because all of our experiences and shortcomings help us to learn and grow into the person that we're always supposed to be. Uh, I just want to critique this a little bit, okay? I don't feel like we're supposed to be anyone. But I feel like a lot of people think that things happen in life for a reason. Honestly, I don't believe in that at all. You know, for example, oh, you don't get into Oxford University. Things always happen for a reason. I think that that's a very stupid way to look at it because I feel like we just live in a universe that's based off science and there isn't any morals. You know, I don't think it matters about the future. I don't think things happen now for a good thing in the future. Like, I just don't believe in that at all. Anyway, let's stop nitpicking and watch this goddamn video. I need to calm down, okay? I'm already a little bit high rate. Anyway, let's let's get playing. Ruby Granger looking like a tomato, God bless. That wasn't an insult, okay? I want people to calm down. This is a comedy channel. Okay, I don't actually think she looks like a tomato. Why did I say that? The dislikes are coming in, guys. Let's all smash like and subscribe if you're new. Let's get watching. Oh, she has a Matilda poster in the background. I, I like the film, Matilda. And the book. The book's pretty good as well. The um, live action thing was pretty bad. Anyway, let's get watching. Hello, it's Ruby. Let's turn that on. Too bright. I have just got back from lectures for the day, so I basically have seven hours of straight lectures. Today is my most jam-packed day, and- Jesus Christ, seven hours of lectures. Oh my God. You know, one of the main things that's good about doing a chemistry degree is the lecture time isn't that ridiculous. Like, there is obviously quite a few hours of lectures, but it's nowhere near as bad as, say, uh, philosophy? Is that what she's doing? I've just got an email back from my philosophy lecturer okay. saying that our essay marks philosophy. have been put up on the learning platform and I thought I would do a reaction video because I know lots of people do this. Um, I... I'm not gonna, I'm not just saying this, I am genuinely convinced that I've done really badly on this because- <laughs> Yeah, you can tell because she's smiling. <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys, I feel like I genuinely failed this. 
<laughs> it's just funny. Okay, I, I know that she's not deliberately smiling. I, I know that she's not smiling because she's an idiot. She's just smiling because she's a bit conflicted with her emotions. I get that. I'm just making a joke, guys. Can everyone calm down? I kind of took, because it's our first essay, I kind of took a chance as in I was a bit ambitious in the point I tried to make and my one concern is that it's not going to be convincing and I've been kind of regretting my decision to make to kind of take a chance and do that because the structure is also a bit kind of creative it's the kind of thing I wouldn't have been able to do at A level now I'm really scared that I'm going to have got a third or a two two or Something. I don't actually know how the grades work at university. I probably should research it, but why am I making this reaction video? I'm not so unqualified to, to make it shut it up, okay? Uh, I'm learning, guys. I'm trying to learn. I'm watching this video to learn, you see. I don't want to critique her for her making a mistake of choosing to be ambitious with the topic, with how she wrote it, wrote the essay, because I imagine she got a lot of slack for that in the comments anyway. Um, but anyway, uh, let's let's just see how it turns out, okay? I really hope I get a 2-1. If I get a 2-1, I'll be really happy. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't think I've done well. And I'm not just saying that, that's the thing. First essay, I'm getting back since being... I feel like it's kind of like trivial though if a revision youtuber says oh yeah i think i failed that i've definitely failed that exam you know that's what a lot of revision youtubers say it's so trivial because literally 90 percent of the time they ace it and I i'm still angry at both on jada jade and e bennett for this they both cried in their videos about how they think that they completely flopped the exams i think with on jada jade it was actually on instagram but they, they think that they've completely flunked the exam they could completely are crying, they're distraught, you managed to get an A star. There is no flipping way they were that distraught. I do not believe it. Like, I, I, I understand, oh yeah, you think you do bad in a test, you get a B in it. You're like, oh, that's amazing. No one thinks that they've done bad in a test and gets an A star. That that just doesn't exist, okay? I do not believe it at all, especially subjects that aren't, you know, say English language. Subjects that are like chemistry, for example. So I don't get why JJJ was so over the top. I don't get why she was crying so much. It was obviously done for attention. That's what I saw from it. It wasn't warranted for her to cry hysterically when she got an A star on the test. It should have gone somewhat well to get an A star. Essay feedback. Okay, I don't know my candidate numbers. I can't find it. Might be this number. Yeah, my ex said that to me. <laughs> Why did I say that? Crap! No! I didn't mean it, guys. I was joking, okay? I'm a big, big object might be this number yes okay i found it but now i just need to find how to actually essay feedback oh i like how it's spontaneous i actually respect that i feel like this is a genuine video i feel like i'm genuinely progressing through my emotions with my reaction just how she is just with her reacting to her actual result oh gosh i did so badly What's the point in this time lapse? I, I don't want to be petty or anything. I don't want to uh, talk about minute details. But the, the time lapse is unnecessary in my opinion. If Ruby Granger watches this video, just don't bother with the time lapses of you reading. Just because they, they don't really add anything to the video. They're, they're just kind of like dead clips really. Like it's sad to watch. I don't want to sound harsh or anything, um, but I, I do think Ruby Ruby Granger needs to kind of like uh, realize how much certain things really mean because I feel like she is very much putting too much pressure on herself because she sees this as a much bigger deal than it actually is. And I don't blame that on her. I blame that more on, you know, her YouTube channel that she created. I feel like if you make a revision YouTube channel, I feel like if you're a study YouTuber, you're pressured to do really well. And I feel like if you do bad in a test, there's much more pressure for you to do well in every test. And I think that's really the main thing. I, I genuinely don't think she's that sad because she feels like she's a failure herself. I think she's more sad that she's dis 
disappointed a lot of people. I think that's kind of it. And she's not living up to the study YouTuber name. But then saying that Ibs Mo apparently is a study YouTuber. Even though he's failing his degree. Fantastic. Well, at least you know not to take chances in future. I said that I knew that that would happen. That was kind of a death thing to leave into the video. Like, I know she's obviously saying that because she felt really low in herself. But then she says that, you know, that she didn't actually waste time on that. Uh, and then she kind of invalidated what she just said. But why didn't she just cut that out from her original video? Like, I don't get why you'd leave that in. And I got a mid to high tutu. I, spent I swear that's not even like bad. It's not great, but like, it's not bad. Like, especially if it's your first actual result. Yeah, it's higher than a pass. What's wrong with that? You didn't, you didn't fail. Like, eh? you, you did better than a pass. You know, that's, that's all right. I don't know why she's so upset about it. You know, at the end of the day. I was hoping to get a two-one because I know that you can't predict getting a first, and that it's really hard to get a first, but. The thing is, I knew when I was writing it and when I submitted it that I was taking a chance in writing it and I knew that I might compromise because, I mean, I understood this material inside out. <laughs> I've got tears all over my computer so I can't see. Um, yet the essay is not forwarding a clear argument and due to that the essay structure is suffering as well and I kind of knew that that would happen. I just it... Then why did you not stop doing it? Use your common sense, you know. I mean, I don't know what to say, really. I mean, I don't take any subjects that are predominantly essay-based. So I, I can't really relate with this video at all. Um, but I don't know why you wouldn't just change your mind on, on what you're doing. It's obviously not her fault. She makes it out like she's completely failed. I would be quite happy if I got a 2-2, two -two, which is better than a pass, may I just say, on an essay that was fundamentally flawed, i.e. the essay structure suffered because it was built poorly. You know, a 2-2 two is not bad, you know. For saying you messed up one major thing and you still managed to do better than a pass, that's a good thing. You know, with history, I remember at GCSE, if you messed up the essay structure, you'd literally get an E. You know, getting a 2-2 two -two is like getting a B or a C, you know, I would say anyway. I was kind of testing the ground and I thought, okay, I'm going to try this, but I spent so long on this essay. That's the thing. I think this video has a good message. Don't try to be fancy. I think this video demonstrates that even if you invest a lot of time into something, if you don't know clearly what you're doing, it can bite you back in the face. It's good to consider what you're actually doing before you invest tons of time into it. I think that's it. Anyway, pretty much she got really sad in that video. I do feel bad for her. Uh, out of all the uh, revision YouTubers, all the study YouTubers, Ruby Granger is my favourite one uh, because I feel like Eve Bennett is just a bit of a sassy bitch, really. And I feel like on Jada Jade is just too perfect, I think. I think her life is too perfect. She's too well brought up. She's made a lot of videos on bullying. Let's watch one of these videos. Uh, this video is titled, How I Forgave My Bullies. A lot of people say I bully Ruby Granger, which is not correct at all. Zero dislikes. That is how it is right now. And it should be like for eternity. Fantastic. A lot of lovely comments. I wonder if she actually gets any hate comments. Like, uh, that's ridiculous. You know, I, I, I get so many mean comments. It's so sad. Who disliked it? Who are you? Okay, this video is really good then. Uh, clearly everyone loved this video, so let's watch. Hello, it's Ruby and today I am going to be doing another video as part of my anti-bullying series for 2018. So this year I really wanted to dedicate some time to properly speaking about bullying on my channel because it's something I feel very strongly about and for me- Strongly for. Ruby Granger is a hardcore bully. She feels strongly towards supporting bullying. Fantastic news. Okay, I'm joking. It ultimately is what so much of the conflict in the world comes down to, which is why it's so key that we address- No. No, I don't think that at all. I feel like she's- 
over exaggerating how bad bullying is. Yes, bullying affects a lot of people. I've been bullied pretty much all the time I've been to school. But at the end of the day, it's not as big as a deal of what causes the most conflict in this world. I don't think you can really say that bullying is the reason why this world is, you know, in such conflict. You know, that's not really the issue. The reason why the conflict in the world is because people disagree with each other. That's the main reason. Different religions, different cultures. That's why the conflict in the world. Don't boil it down to bullying because it's just not true. And hopefully also helping some people to find closure with their own bullies or helping those who are currently struggling with bullying. Sorry. Okay. Um, Why did she just redo that line? <laughs> what? What's stopping her from just repeating that? Like, it would make the video 10 times better. Ruby Grinch, I'm angry. You were stacking on this video. <laughs> One thing which I found in response to my um, How Bullying Made Me the Person I Am Today video was lots of people said, well, I still haven't found closure. I still haven't been able to come out the other side of that, even though it's been years. And that's so upsetting to hear, um, but somehow I'm also not surprised. It can be really traumatic, um, extremely traumatic, but I really like to think that it's possible for us to come out the other side and become better people for it. But I think the first step in that is being able to offer forgiveness. And that doesn't have to be because they ask for it. I think okay. you offering it is such a cathartic action. And something don't, 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 just don't do that. I know she's gone through bullying. I've gone through bullying. Trying to forgive your bully while they're bullying you is just going to make you look like a loser and you're going to be bullied more. My biggest advice for being bullied and stopping bullies is just to be strong. What I used to do is I used to just sit there if people were bullying me. I would think to myself, I couldn't give less of a sh about what they have to say about me. I also thought about something when I was being bullied, something that I'm better at than they are. So for a long time, I used to think when I was getting bullied, I'm smart, I'm doing well with my subjects. I think to myself, oh, I can run further than them. I'm better than them in that aspect. And it makes me feel less bad about myself and it gives me more confidence. Uh, not to sound petty or anything, but when you're being bullied, you need to, I think, what you need to do is you need to think about things that you're actually very good at. Things that will make you more motivated to realise that you are actually better than them. And because of that, you deserve better treatment than what they're giving to you. And then you don't take how they're treating you so seriously. Do not offer them forgiveness just because it will get you completely ruined. It just will, okay? Because people, when they bully you, all they want is a reaction. All they want to do is you know, hate on you just because they feel empty in themselves. Just because they're bored, they want to pick on you. And it's really entertaining to bully people. This was something that I very much hate myself for. But I, once I stopped getting bullied, I started bullying other people. I very quickly realised what I was doing and stopped. But I'm not going to lie, there is something therapeutic about it. There is something good about putting someone down because it makes you feel better. That's not something that's right to do, though. So don't do that. Take it from me. How to forgive, this is so true. All right, Ruby Granger's copy and meme review. Copyright claim coming up your ass. Sorry guys, that was a bad joke. Sorry! How do you do it? It's so easy for me to say, oh yeah, go forgive your bullies. I like this, I like this. Resources if you are getting bullied. My study planner. Guys, if you're being bullied by Ruby Granger's study planner, you can get the study planner, put it in front of your face, and it blocks the haters, aka the bullies, out. Yes, it does. Jesus Christ. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Smash the like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel right now, guys. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye.